Sinclair in his corner that he's Sinclair MMA. I'm guessing so too. <laughs> so Mick Sinclair, they're not as good looking as the two brothers. <laughs> and then you have Rob, pretty boy. If we're going off the Sinclair brothers, they're very always, they're very, always, always very well prepared, um, very well conditioned. Love to work from top, they've actually got some very good wrestling. Rob yeah, I've trained, I've trained with both Sinclair brothers. Very, very good wrestling, you know. Take down top position, strong, solid guys. Like. Rob's, Rob's got a very good top game throws, very strong shots. Both of, them, both of them have got solid ground and pound from top. Mick's got some very nice tie as well. Um, I think anything to go off the coaches and the people that are in the corner, I, I can't imagine that Danny's not going to be well prepared. Yeah, certainly. So, Mike Castell, hide MMA. I don't know much about Mikey. I know that he beat one of my friends in Jordan Wilkinson. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've, I think I've seen all of uh, Mikey Castell's fights. He's tough, rugged, um, gets through, he's decent in, a, in every range. Not like overly exceptional in any range, but very, very tough and rugged. Um, the, on paper, this is going to be a very good fight. I think uh, Mikey, the Pike Castell, uh, a bit more experienced. But let's see. I spent my teenage years in, uh, in Burnley, where Mick and Rob are from. And let me tell you, the guys from Burnley love to scrap. I'm yeah. not, so, Mikey loves to scrap. Looking at Mikey's footage, he's got a very strong guillotine. He's won a lot of his bars by guillotine. He's got a very even amateur record. Um, so he's very experienced. I think he's had it in the region of about 10, 12 fights, something like that. Yeah, certainly what I describe as an improver, you know. Uh, from from his first few amateur fights, he got he, you know he seemed to fall into um, the the fight, and then he got better and better and better as he went along. I mean, the thing is as well, looking at his uh, looking at his record, it, it doesn't do him justice because he is a tough guy. Yeah. Like I said earlier on, the high MMA guys train very hard, very well conditioned. And, and and the thing with Mikey as well, he was fighting at welterweight early on. He dropped down to lightweight, and he's definitely much stronger at the weight. At, uh, definitely lightweight. looks better at lightweight. His frame doesn't look like it'll carry well away very well. Um, one thing I have noticed from his footage is Castell doesn't like being backed up. He's very much in the fight as long as he's coming forward. Looking at his previous footage, I mean, the footage doesn't say anything, but when he gets backed up, he doesn't look comfortable. So if I was in Danny's corner, I would be looking to capitalise on that and back him up, look to throw shots and back him up onto the cage. But like I said, Castell's got a very good guillotine, very, very good guillotine. So Danny makes a mistake and tries to shoot in while he's about to against the cage. He could be on the receiving end of being choked out. So we've got Danny in the darker shorts and Michael Castell in the white trunks. This is a very interesting matchup. I believe Mike is also making his pro debut. This is going to be a very interesting fight, especially knowing now where Danny's, which gym Danny's from. He's got a very mixing clear look about him when he kind of drops his chin and puts his hands up. I believe we're going to be in for a very good fight here. I think so. Look, the way that he drops his base, nice leg check. Front kick, Mike looks to take it straight out. Oh, that's a guillotine. A tight guillotine, a tight guillotine attempt. It, that, it didn't really take him down. Danny kind of accepted guard. Yeah, he, Very because, he's, because, because I think he thinks he's got that sunk, and he, and he might be right. He's cranking. I think he's out. I think Mikey will survive. He just needs to stack up. Oh, he's he's, he's tapped out. Stuck. That was a very tight guillotine, a fast win. Mikey stood up there. His legs are gone. 
That was a great win. You can see the Sinclair brothers are very, very happy with that win. Both exceptional fighters in their own right, and you, you know now they've got students coming through that are good as well. I was totally wrong about that. It looked like Danny had the better guillotine. Mikey, to be fair, at one point looked like he was getting out, but unfortunately just wasn't managed to stack his opponent, stack into his opponent to relieve that pressure off his neck. And unfortunately, as he got up there after tapping, he looked a little bit wobbly on his feet, which shows that it was on a lot more than we could see. Yeah, I think uh, he sunk. I don't think he would have dropped to the guard as quickly if he didn't think it was sunk. But that's a great win. Not many people pull guard unless they're confident. Very, very quick win there by Danny here. Shows a lot of great sportsmanship, Danny, as well. Very unlucky for Mikey Costello.